if you have a well-honed immune system fortified, then the coronavirus or any other virus for that matter is not going to get past your initial lines of defenses, which is your mouth, your nose, and your upper respiratory tract, where the real battle is going to be won or lost. Remember, the coronavirus is a cousin of the common cold that is a upper respiratory virus. And that's where it wants to land, and that's where the initial fight is waged. So the better your oral health, the better your immune health in general, and the more fortified you are with antiviral compounds that support your immune system, the better chance you're going to have against this virus getting a foothold. Are there any foods that are especially beneficial for immune function? So let me give you my, my thoughts on, on this whole subject. I've, I've mentioned this before. One of the reasons I think, and others think, that people with pre-existing conditions are more susceptible to this virus, and particularly are more susceptible from dying from this virus, is that their pre-existing condition tells me that they have a leaky gut and they have a dysbiotic microbiome, that is a microbiome that's completely out of whack, that they don't have a normal ecology, dense tropical rainforest in their gut. Why do I claim that? Because my practice takes people with high blood pressure, with diabetes, with coronary artery disease, with arthritis, and measures not only their gut microbiome, but their leaky gut. And every one of these individuals has a leaky gut. And the exciting thing is, through 20 years of research, we've shown that by making their gut a diverse microbiome, they will seal their gut, and lo and behold, their high blood pressure will go away, their diabetes will go away, their coronary artery disease will stabilize or go away. And that's one of the reasons that I think we should put our attention now on our gut to avoid these complications of the coronavirus. Now here's the exciting thing I talked about in the plant paradox. In three days of eating, number one, avoiding lectins, of eating soluble fiber-rich foods, of eating resistant starches, you will change your bad gang member microbiome to a healthy microbiome. This is published literature in three days. So it's not that you know, it's going to take uh, the next 10 years of eating to change things around. You can do this right now. So what do you do? Number one, eat mushrooms. The more mushrooms you eat, the better. Eat resistant starches like tubers. Get out the sweet potatoes, get out the turnips, get out the parsnips, get out the Jerusalem artichokes. Eat cruciferous vegetables. Cruciferous vegetables actually tell receptors in your gut wall, called the ah receptors, that things are good and to tell the immune system to not pay attention down to the gut, but to look elsewhere for other mischief makers. Cabbages are great. And quite honestly, the store shelves are full of the things that you should be eating. There's plenty of mushrooms, there's plenty of cabbages, there's plenty of broccoli and cauliflower, there's plenty of sweet potatoes, there's plenty of rutabagas. Those are the things that you should buy. They're plentiful. And eat those and you'll be shocked how fast you, things will turn around. What we know now is you've heard about processed foods and ultra-processed foods being so bad for your health. The reason they're so bad for your health is we for completely forgot 
that traditionally the foods that we ate were actually feeding the gut microbiome the things they needed to thrive and in turn they kept our immune system and us healthy. When we use ultra processed foods what's happened is those foods have been stripped of all the parts of food that fed the microbiome and instead they are actually pure sugar even though that does not appear on the label. For instance when you pick up a bagel you'll see a lot of carbohydrates but you probably will see zero sugar which is actually not true at all. There's 33 grams of sugar in a traditional bagel which is about six seven teaspoons of sugar when you eat that one bagel and there's nothing in that bagel that's going to feed the guys who really need it and that's the gut microbiome and so eat for them and they in turn will take care of you and that's the message right now what food should I avoid first of all all the ultra processed foods all the simple foods that you're stocking up on all the breads all the pastas all the tomato sauces stay away from those right now these are not health foods stay away from milk stay away from orange juice these are just sugar delivery devices plus milk is loaded if it comes from American cows with the lectin casein A1 stay away from lectin containing foods all the whole grains if you're going to have beans they're great for your microbiome but please 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 pressure cook them to destroy the lectins there's a company that I have no relationship with Eden brand beans that pressure cooks their beans and they have a BPA free can so there's a shout out to them they're on your shelves right now that's enough for today I hope you find this useful this is not a death sentence you are not trapped for eternity and you can take advantage of this time you're at home this is the time to focus on your health it's the time to focus on your family's health and I got news for you when you do go to the grocery store all the foods that I'm talking about are there by the bushel field get them there's plenty of YouTubes that I make on how to cook this stuff there's plenty of other areas to find this let's take control of our health rather than waiting in fear let's advance forward with this and I'm here to help you and that's why we're doing this <music>